a gift to the Salina community is a project of the Dearborn Community Fund and the 2023 POP team. I am Johanna Seidel, president of the Dearborn Community Fund. I'd now like to introduce Emma Jean Woodyard, executive director of the Dearborn Community Fund and founder of the Pockets of per Perception Project. Thank you. Thank you, Johanna. Um, and thank you for coming here today. This is a wonderful turnout to support this wonderful project. So we're going to try to move through this. I know it's not pleasant sitting out in the hot hut sun, but we'll try to move through this pretty quickly. The Dearborn Community Fund was uh, begun in the year 2000 under then Mayor Michael A. Guido, and it continues to do work in the community long afterwards. We support cultural, recreational, and other programs that directly impact the greater community. And one of the most important programs is our Pockets of Perception program. It's an apprentice-style program, which means that it brings extra responsibilities to the participants, our students. Uh, they receive a small stipend upon successful completion of their tasks, so attendance is usually very good because it's, uh, their pay is, is really uh, reflects their attendance. And we solicit young people from all over Dearborn schools primarily, but we have had students come from Allen Park, Wyandotte, Gross Eel, Brownstown Township, Allen Park, Plymouth. So the word is out about the Pockets of Perception program, and we're very proud about that. What is the POP project about? And again, we refer to it as the POP project. It was launched in 2010. It is meant to encourage multicultural understanding in the schools, to involve young people in creative problem-solving tasks through the arts, to encourage youth investment in communities, and to engage the community in the process, and last but not least, to create lasting public art. The average life of a mural like this is probably 25 years. And you should know that once it's painted, there is a protective coating that's put on here. And late at night, you'll find the probably our director of the program, Sunshine Durant, who brings her husband, Steve. They get up on the lift, and they put the finished coat on that, that project. So it's meant to say, it's this day. Now, why did we choose the Salina location? We thought it was a fitting location in alignment with the Dearborn Green Schoolyards Initiative, which you can learn more about. There's information on the back tables. This emphasizes environmental resilience and community engagement. You'll be hearing more about the Green Schoolyards project in the days to come. And hopefully, the mural will serve as an inspiration and reminder of the importance of outdoor spaces that are engaging, comfortable, creative, and welcoming to all. Now, projects like this require a lot of support, a cheering section of sorts. So this year, we are pleased to have the support from the Dearborn Public Schools and the City of Dearborn, which allowed us to move forward with this project. So now it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Glenn Maleko, Dearborn Public Schools, who will make a few uh, a few comments. Dr. Malico. Thank you, Emma Jane. Appreciate that. Appreciate being invited to be here in Dearborn Public Schools. We're just proud to partner with the city and with you um, on many, many projects. So uh, this is fantastic. I got to say, too, that Salina has a soft place in my heart because I started my career here as a full-time teacher in 97 and 12 years. So anytime I can come to Salina and then to see this great gifted piece that the students have created with the teachers uh, is just outstanding. So I'm actually uh, wearing several hats today. So I'll start with my superintendent hat. Um, I do want to recognize, and I know they were mentioned, but we have three trustees here, or four actually, Trustee McDonald, Trustee D'Ambrosio, Trustee Petlichkoff, and Trustee Watts. I hope I didn't miss anyone else, but let's give them a big round of applause. 
continuing with that, I really want to thank Sunshine Duran for her leadership with this and the great work she's doing on uh, moving forward with the arts because it's so important for the students, whether it's athletics or arts, it's just so important for students to connect to uh, the schools and the community. So thank you for the great work that you're doing. And your husband. <laughs> and, you know, we're going to talk about community here. So like I said, I'm wearing three hats. I'm also here... Uh, in, isn't this great? I know Emma Jean mentioned the different partners, but I'm a Rotarian, and um, I was president in 1819. You get into a seven-year rotation, um, and I just finished my time as the foundation chair. So I was part of the approval of the funding through the Dearborn Rotary Club. So I know Dave Anderson's here, the president, and others, but the Dearborn Rotary Club is committed um, to supporting this community fund and continuing the work that you're doing. You do great work. And my other hat is I'm not on the board, but I'm an Exchange Club member. And Exchange does great. Yes, we got Exchange. Let's hear that from the Exchange. <laughs> and the Exchange also does great work in the community. And I got to say, just great groups to see the community come together. And the last thing I just want to mention is the students. The power of the students is incredible. It really is. I was just on Friday at the Michigan yeah, School great. Board Conference for school board members across the state. We had three students presenting. And the amount of uh, board members that wanted to talk to them and continue to talk, and we're just proud of the things that are going on in Dearborn with the leadership of the students is absolutely outstanding. So again, I appreciate the partnership with the mayor, all the community groups, and the POP fund. I think this is outstanding. So thank you. I'm honored that you invited me, Emma Jean, to speak here today. Thank you, Dr. Maliko. We appreciate the opportunity to work so closely with our schools. Now, next up was to be our mayor, but I don't think he has arrived yet. So we're going to push him back way. a little on the schedule. Is he here? No. On his way. No, he's on his way. All right. Well, we're going to move ahead. So. <laughs> What does it take to, uh, as we say, pull off a project of this size? Well, it takes vision, commitment, a bit of craziness, fearlessness, like climbing the ladders and the scaffolding to get all the way up there. Again, this is the biggest one we've ever done. It's not for the faint of heart, and determination is part of it. We are fortunate to have a project director who is not afraid to take it on. Please welcome Sunshine Duran. The Fearless Pop Director. Hello, thank you for guys for coming. I welcome you all here. Uh, the time I've spent here has been beautiful and I really love this community. Um, I just want to start by thanking this year's PARP team. We are changing the face of Dearborn one mural at a time. This is my favorite mural so far, but I say this every year so I can't wait to see next year's. What do we do next year? How do we top this one? Um, you, with your, your changing neighborhoods, your changing communities, your, with your inspirational images, they are um, they're the ones who come up with this idea. This is their idea. This has nothing to do with me. I have no idea at the beginning of this year what it will look like. They're the ones who dream up this idea and it comes to life. Um, I'm, I coach them through it. We learn the design team process. They do all the imaging. They get paid. Today they get the extra $100 that I wouldn't give them because unless they showed up here. <laughs> so they all came. And today you're going to see some pictures that they did. I told them also that they wouldn't get their hundred, the last hundred dollars unless they brought their pictures that I gave them. And they were allowed to make uh, changes to them, so I can't wait to see them all up here. So when they are introduced, they're going to bring up these um, smaller, uh, they're kind of make and takes. It's their kind of um, memory from this year. And I guess they really didn't understand that I was doing that, but now they have something to remember this wall and keep it forever. And I hope you guys do because I am going to keep this memory in my heart forever and I'm really proud of you and I can't wait to see what you guys do in the future. Um, one of our group has went on to already start a mural and got paid for it, so that's amazing. She's using it as a career exploration. We have one um, that's going to college for art and I hope that she comes back every year and helps us out. Um, I'd also like to thank Emma Jean Curtis. Um, Emma, Jean, Emma Jean Curtis. Emma Jean Woodward. Bob Curtis. Bob Curtis can't be with us. He's a big part of this. Um, he's uh, He had a few health issues. But every year, him and Emma Jean had come up with this idea. They're the founding people that came up with this idea and brought it to our community. So I really am thankful for that, and I'm thankful they, they brought me in. Sasha and Johanna, we couldn't do it without you and the community fund. 
I think Fords too. I saw a member from Fords came here. They support us up here. Thank you so much. And all the other supporters too. I'm, I, I don't know all that because I just do the art. Emma Jean does. Um, Zach Curtis was our guest artist. Um, he is amazing. I'm just really in awe of him. Oh, Mohamed Bazi's back there. He's one of the founders of our, uh, the Pop Project also. We want to thank him. He's, he started this. Before me, there was him. So thank you. I didn't even know you were going to come. Thank you so much. Um, and, and last, I think that the Dearborn Public Schools for supporting us and being here um, to support the arts and always, always um, supporting the community. And one last thing, I want the, to thank the um, Salina community for being so welcoming. They stopped by every day. They brought us water. They brought. They encouraged us. They they loved sitting here. We had two men from the community just bring chairs every single day and sit here and watch us. It was amazing. And everybody who came by gave us a thumbs up or waved. The trains were going by honking their horns. And the mayor is here. Thank you, mayor, for supporting the arts and everything that you do. So that is my speech. Thank you. All right, I see Mayor Hamoud has arrived, so Mayor, you're up next. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm sorry for being late, um, but it's, uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful mural. Um, a round of applause, honestly, to the artists. This is an immaculate piece. Uh, a big thank you to you, Imogene. Uh, for, for really leading many of the arts initiatives across our city. Uh, and so, honestly, a round of applause for Emma Jean and her team. I think, uh, as mayor, I've learned, you know, you have to be political sometimes, so I can't declare which mural is my favorite. They're all my favorites. Um, but I think it's, 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 you know, this is probably the largest mural we have in the city. And it's, it's, it's one that speaks to the uniqueness of the city of Dearborn that we are a welcoming place that is home to, uh, you know, not the, uh, uh, the melting pot, but what I prefer is the salad bowl, where we all come to this place that we call home. We hold on to what makes us so special. Uh, we don't change who we are. We actually celebrate those differences, and we share our unique cultures with one another, and I think this mural really speaks to that. Uh, and what better role model to have uh, than our own principal, uh, Iman Ali Ahmed, who might be, I think, some of the, uh, I saw the original picture, and so I really want to thank her for all that she does uh, in our community and the whole Salina team. The art, you know, what's happening now with murals across the city of Dearborn is it's speaking to the story of Dearborn. And I think that's what's the most beautiful thing about this, is people are coming to the city not knowing maybe who we are. Often they experience our food, but more than that, they kind of tend to leave. Um, but for those who are not Dearborn residents, and they come and now they get to see murals like this, I think it speaks to who Dearborn is. Um, and I think there's nothing more special than that. It gives us character. It gives us a distinguished taste. That when you come through Dearborn, you're going to see something special like the painting that is behind us. Um, and I'm hoping that this is a piece that lasts for decades to come, for people to always remember that this is what is here. I want to take a moment to thank our council members that are present. I see Councilman Mustafa Hamoud, and I know Council President Pro Tem Leslie Herrick uh, is here somewhere in the audience. And so thank you so much also. And I look forward to expanding on this initiative. Uh, whatever we can do as a city to help expand this initiative, know that we are supportive. I just left a meeting where they identified five other walls in the South End that they think can take on a mural. And so hopefully we can uh, present those to the top team. Uh, and maybe you can take on those projects. I'm not much of an artist, uh, but maybe those two gentlemen that brought chairs, I'll bring a chair and I'll just sit and watch. Um, that's like the most Dearborn thing you can possibly do. Um, only thing missing is like, uh, you know, some watermelon and some tea. And it really is a Dearborn hangout, uh, maybe with a little bit of gossip. Uh, but with that, um, thank you all so much for having me. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to the city of Dearborn. And congratulations to the Arts Council and the POP team. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Hamoud. Uh, we appreciate the support from the city and from you personally. All right, I have to find my place now because I kind of got a little mixed up here. Uh, we heard from Sunshine, the director of this wonderful project, who works with the students on site for the entire time, uses up her whole summer for that. But now I want to bring up uh, Eliana Pettigrew. Eliana has been on the team for two years now. We couldn't get rid of her. She wanted to come back. So, so Eliana, uh, we're going to have you come up and uh, share a few insights from the student perspective as well as maybe you have a few details about the mural. 
Eliana Pettigrew. everyone. Um, my name is Eliana and I'm one of the um, student members of the team and uh, these are the rest of the student members. So we have Hassan, Isabella, Ava, Lauren, Lana, Esther, Isabella, Zainab, and Hadil. And um, I'm so grateful to have been able to work with them. I'm so grateful to have been able to work with Zach and Sunshine. So thank you to both of them. Um, thank you to Mr. Duran and Sasha and Bob Curtis and Emma Jean as well. Um, we couldn't have done any of this without them, and we couldn't have done any of it without you. So thank you so much. Um, the community is what helps us create these murals, so thank you guys for helping young artists to grow. Um, I'm so grateful to have been in this program, and um, now I'd like to share some of the meaning behind our mural. Um, so this is an overview of our artist statement on the mural, Blooming Possibilities. Um, we wanted our central figures to represent real people in the community, so we used them as models, and we want um, those two figures to represent passing on hope and tradition to a younger generation and inspiring them. Um, we also wanted the flowers in the mural to bring the beauty of flora to the school and tie it into the Green Schools Initiative. And we also chose some flowers that are um, the national flower of some of the countries that families in the community are connected to. The teapot and the cup symbolize important traditions and generosity of the community and the bird, known for its migrations, is a symbol of hope and change. The volleyball and soccer players represent the students and their talents at Salina Intermediate, um, and also that they can grow up in a community where they're supported. They play among a studying peer and among the friendly houses um, to show a community where they can succeed. And the 29 on the volleyball players' um, jersey is um, calling back to the 29 trials that secured houses in the south end of Dearborn. So um, once again, I just want to thank all of you. I want to thank all of our mentors and everyone who supported us and all the people who um, shared Dearborn history with us to help us inspire this group. Thank you, um, Eliana, and thank you to all the POP team members who made their way down here uh, every morning, uh, starting at 9 o'clock, and work till noon every day before the high sun came up. And you got the job done, and you got the job done well. Um, how many are leaving for college in the fall? I just, I know Eliana is. Anybody else? You, oh, we got you for another year, maybe. That's good. So, Eliana, we wish you all the best, and we know we'll hear from, we know we'll hear from you in the future. The POP initiative is made possible through generous support provided by donors and sponsors. The old saying, we couldn't do this without you, is so true. So now, a word or two from our sponsors. First, the Ford Motor Company, which is just the Ford Motor Company Fund, which has uh, supported just about every POP design project, including this one. So please welcome Ms. Renee Godfrey, the Executive Hometown Project Manager, Manager who will say a few words. Good afternoon. I will be very brief because I really want this to be about the students and the artists that created this. But the first thing I will tell you is this is absolutely gorgeous. I am truly, truly inspired by what you have done here. So congratulations to you on this project. The Ford Motor Company Fund has been involved uh, with the POP program since its inception. And I think with the Dearborn Community Fund, well before that. Uh, but I can tell you, I particularly love the POP project. I, I love the inspiration behind it. I love the beauty behind it. Um, I love how a group of young students can come together and be creative and work as a team and have a vision and create something this amazing that will live on for decades. And so we at the Ford Motor Company Fund are so happy to support this project. So please keep doing what you do, keep doing the great work, and kudos to you on this beautiful, beautiful mural. Thank you, Renee. We appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate it very much. Now, a new a next door neighbor to the Salina Schools, UAW 600, stepped up to support for 2023. And they are represented here today by Mr. Jay Macklin, UAW 
600 financial secretary. Thank you, Emma. Appreciate you guys having me here today. Um, we're here to celebrate this beautiful mural. On behalf of the members of Local 600 and our president, Tony Richard, and the other officers, we couldn't be more proud of this mural. It sits in our backyard and also in the south end of Dearborn where we feel that uh, this just as it enlightens our community and it makes it more welcoming. We would like to also thank the POP team. Um, we heard this was coming up about a, about a year and a half ago and when I brought this back to the other officers, they said absolutely do it, pull the trigger on it and let's contribute to this beautiful mural. And it's, it's beat all of our expectations. We couldn't ask for more of a beautiful mural than what you have painted. We saw everybody up here working during the hot summer months and did not take breaks. So really thank, thank the POP team for really coming out here and everybody who worked so hard on it. It is a gorgeous piece and it's something to be really proud of. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jay, and thank you, UAW 600. Uh, we are very, very pleased to have you on board. So uh, we are also delighted, not also, but most definitely delighted to have access another neighbor uh, step up and provide support for this project. And we'd like to welcome uh, Anisha Sohuba. I think, did I get it right, Anisha? <laughs> She's the Director of Youth and Education and Access, and we're so delighted to have you. Thank you so much, Emma Jean, and good evening, everyone. Um, on behalf of Access, um, congratulations on this beautiful mural. Um, you know, when we found out about it, we wanted to sponsor it, obviously without hesitation. Um, you know, not just because Salina sits in our backyard, but we've had a long-standing relationship with Dearborn Public Schools um, that spans decades. Um, but on a personal level, I went to Salina School um, and, you know, was raised here in the South End. So to see a mural that represents you know, everything familiar to me and, you know, especially listening to Eliana talk about how every aspect of this beautiful mural was so well thought out, you know, um, from this, you know, you've got the nuances, right, you know, the, the colors, the vibrance, and it really is a beautiful mural. So congratulations and thank you to the Dearborn Community Fund, uh, Pockets of Perception, Emma Jean and her team, and the young artist. Um, we're all so proud of this and, you know, driving through is, is going to be a different experience because we get to look at this and just and reflect back on the stories that are, you know, personal to us but also personal to, to many people who are in, involved in all of this. So, again, congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Anissa. We appreciate it very, very much and welcome aboard the POP train. Now, additional POP 2023 20, sponsors include the Kosh Family Dearborn Sausage and two of Dearborn's uh, wonderful service organizations. Dr. Maleko did speak about the Rotary Club of Dearborn, but we want to acknowledge the Exchange Club of Dearborn, and I think you have a representative here who will say a few words. This is Mr. Don Mack, just past president, correct? Uh, still president. Still president. Almost, almost done. Almost, almost done. done. Okay. Outgoing. <laughs> outgoing president. Okay. He's very outgoing. And uh, don't don't get don't get scared. This is so I don't go wrong. Okay. <laughs> the, and the folks here from Exchange know what I'm talking about. Uh, my name's Don Mack, and I'm the current president of the Exchange Club of Dearborn, and I'm honored to represent our club at the dedication ceremony of this wonderful mural, Blooming Possibilities. It's, it's amazing. Uh, the Exchange Club has been uh, in existence for nearly a hundred years. Uh, throughout this time, the men and women of Exchange have raised funds for many local community programs and projects in addition to providing support for many in need. Many of our programs are designed to help develop tomorrow's leaders. Today we're happy to celebrate with you the Pockets of Perception mission to encourage multicultural understanding and cooperation through a team approach to engage young people in creative problem solving through the arts while encouraging their investment in the community. We hope this program will grow in service to the community and help the participants to gain a lifelong 
appreciation for service. Thank you for this opportunity to join you in celebration of this mural as a gift to our community. Thank you all very much for this. This is fabulous. Thank you very much, Don, and to the Exchange Club. Additional sponsors, just so you know, we want to give thanks to Steve and Faye Adelson, Robert W. Curtis, Kimberly Ismail, is Isa Mae Osborne, and Johanna Seidel for their support, financial support of this. You will notice that the mural includes images, and Eliana referred to the teapot over there, the teapot and teacups. These images reflect traditions and generosity. With that in mind, we invite you to sip a cup before you leave. And we thank uh, Kamaria, Cof uh, yes, Kamaria Coffee for providing the tea service and for, I hope I get this name right, Colver, did I get it right? Colver for the wonderful, delicious uh, edibles at the back. So please stop by and indulge. A permanent plaque will be installed on the mural. You can see a replica of it on the back there. It includes everybody, all the donors, all the names, the meaning of the mural. That should be going up in the next week or so. You know, supply chain uh, problems slowed it down. So uh, what we have is the next, next best thing. And, uh, you know, take a minute to read the message and the explanation about the blooming possibilities. There are also copies of the uh, mural, along with crayons, on the back ta table there for you to take. So if you've got little ones or you just like to crayon or color, take it and familiarize yourself with all the figures in the mural. Now we're going to begin recruiting members, and should I say sponsors, for 2024, come January. That's usually when we kick into high gear. So please look at our website uh, at DearbornCommunityFund.org for information, application forms, or you always can call our office with questions. The following, uh, the following are acknowledged for their support and encouragement. Uh, Zach Curtis, the mural artist who worked with Sunshine. Zach's not here today, but so you know, Zach Curtis is a professional muralist, and he came in for almost the entire time to work with the team. What a wonderful experience that was. He travels all over the world doing murals, so he's, we were so fortunate to have him here. So we thank Zach, we thank Iman Ahmed, the principal of Salina Intermediate School, which she couldn't be here today. Sue Stanley, where's Sue? Principal of Salina Elementary School. Dearborn Public Schools administration and staff, including Lemise, where's Lemise? Lemise, sir, okay. Dr. Joe Tokel, Joe couldn't be here today. David Mustanen from the Communications Office and Katie Hetrick from the Communications Office. City of Dearborn, of course the Mayor's Office for their uh, encouragement. Recreation and Parks and under uh, and our friend Martin Zabosnik from the Cultural Arts and Theater Department over there at, at the Ford Community Performing Arts Center. And CDTV for being here. We also thank artist Marwa Hachim. Is Marwa here? Where's Mara? Stand up, Mara. There's Mara. And uh, I, I want to say Yasmin, Yasmin Muslek. Is Yasmin here? They are our models here. So uh, we want to thank you for helping us out with that. And we want to thank the mural volunteers that went above and beyond to make this happen. That includes Sasha Corder. Is Sasha here? No, she didn't make it. Oh, what would we do without her? Sasha Corder, Steve Durant, Robert W. Curtis, and I know Mike Kirk is here. Stand up, Mike. Mike Kirk. Court. So this brings the program to an end. Thank you for sitting out in the hot sun. Not much we could do about this, but um, I think next year we've got to paint a mural on the east side. Okay, on the east side of the building next year. No more west side buildings. <laughs> So on behalf of the Dearborn Community Fund and the POP Team 2023, thank you for joining us for this evening. And remember to take time to look at the mural plaque. It's on the wall back there. And sip a cup of tea and enjoy a sweet to celebrate another successful POP Design Team project. Thank you so much. <laughs>